got a new toy. So I've already got more than enough crawlers, but this one is a little bit different. And in this video, we're gonna unbox it, have a little look at it, and take it out for a test to see if the differences make it any better or worse. Subscribe! The box doesn't do it justice. This thing looks absolutely epic. <laughs> Open it up, it's on a magnet, so you just pick it up like that and lift it forward, and there we see the difference. So look at that, it's got cantilever style suspension. I think the reason they've done that is because of the bed, but this can make for some really good articulation. Check out that flex. Oh look, postman's just turned up. So a bit later, we're gonna open them up and have a look to see what's inside. Yes, hopefully more toys. Oh, and the tires, guys. They are supple. I'm guessing this is gonna grip well. Oh look, metal drive shafts. So we've got the motor there, main transmission there. Then just like on a real 4x4, we have the transfer box there. We've got four link suspension, solid axles. It comes with a battery, charger, radio, and instructions. But you do need four AA batteries for the controller. To so get the battery out, super easy. <laughs> kind of. Check that out, steel chassis. So we're gonna let that charge up and then We'll take it out for a rip. Oh look, and it comes with these stickers so you can have either wood or checker plate on the back and it also comes with some little hubcaps, look. Oh, ho, 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 guys, that looks pretty cool. That's gonna be a different unboxing video. Look, have a quick little sneak peek in there, look. <laughs> all right, that's gonna be a different video. All right, all charged up. Let's stick in the battery and give it a blast. Steering, not the fastest, but plenty of power, which is what we need for a crawler. And power. <laughs> uh oh. So, you've got some wires here for the lights. Uh, I'm guessing they plug in here. We've got the front lights. Are there any lights on the back? Uh, maybe not. So, you've got quite a tight steering circle. Ready? Flat out. Not bad for a crawler. So any decent crawler should be able to crawl at least 45 degrees. Let's see if it can do it. Oh, easy. I reckon we can do loads more than that. 50. Oh, ho, 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 that's on the limit. Oh, it's right on the limit. No, not quite. Right on the limit, guys. <laughs> Oh, straight over. Let's check the articulation. Look at that. All four wheels still on the floor. So there's a limit. Check it out, guys. Plenty of suspension flex on this bad boy. Can it make it down the staircase of doom? All right, we're gonna try and catch it. Oh, no, tumble wumble. So we just set up a quick obstacle course. No idea if it's gonna get over it. And no idea how many hands of gods it's gonna need. So guys, leave a comment down below. How many hands of gods do you think it will take. And then, once we've given that a go, I want to give this one here a go, which is kind of like a similar sort of price point, and it's more of a traditional crawler without all that fancy suspension, just to see what difference it makes. Oh, another engine. Here we go, first attempt. No idea if it's going to work. Oh, I was just about to say it's got plenty of torque, but look, it's jamming up. I wonder if it's that battery it comes with. Oh, all these wires pull out of here quite easily. I wonder if it's this battery, this NIMH is a little bit down on power. Let's try a LiPo. So here we got a 2S. It does actually say on the ESC that it can take a 3S. So we might give that a go in a minute as well. Here we go, 2S LiPo. <laughs> That's loads more power. <laughs> all right, let's try it again with a more power. Oh, did I want to see something flash? Oh, we have indicators. Oh, that's better. Can we do it with no hands of God? Come on, you can do it. Haha, <laughs> first attempt over the car crush. Oh, easy. I wonder if we can do it going back the other way. Look at that crushing the bodies. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Full power. <laughs> can we recover? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, maybe not. All right, attempt number two. Mm. 
not really working out as planned. <laughs> So next, I want to see how this one here compared. They're both the same wheelbase, similar tyre size, similar suppleness, similar grippiness. So let's see which one performs better. By the way, there's going to be a link down below where you can get both of these from. All right, here we go. 2S LiPo. <laughs> We're still set on 50 degrees. Can this one do it? Oh, we got a little bit of a better climbing ability on this one. The other one struggled. What about crawling over the truggy? This one here's got a bit more bumper sticking out the front of it. And I think it's also not got quite as much axle articulation. So we might struggle more with this one. Oh, got a bit of a different route, but we still got over. Staircase of doom. Oh. <laughs> and now for the moment of truth, the obstacle assault course. Get the front wheels on there. We get in grip and oh, straight over. It perhaps did it even better than the other one. It's actually doing really good. Look at that, straight over. <laughs> I would give it a clear win to that one there. I don't even know what name it is. There's going to be a link down below if you want to know all the techno babble and everything about both of these cars. Oh dear, I think that stair tumble one will bend the bumper a little bit. Fixed it. Actually, no, didn't fix it. Oh, something for me, Anita. Oh, nice. Wheels for the speed car. They're the same wheels that Raz Schifrin uses to make his armors go over 170 mile an hour. But will they take 200 mile an hour? We will see. Oh, look, we just had another one turn up. So next, let's put a 3S LiPo into here. That's going to give it half the power again. While that's open, look, you can see how that cantilever style suspension works. 3S, here we go. <laughs> Loads more power. <laughs> Not sure if it's going to help me crawl in, but we'll give it a go. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a rock bouncer. Oh, look at that, straight over. <laughs> it's redeeming itself. <laughs> well, I've set myself a challenge. We've got to get it up there. <laughs> Where well, there's a wheel, there's a way. Oh, yes, we did it. Come on, come on, you can do it. Don't let me down. Find some grip on that box. Oh, yes, look at that. That tyre there, the suppleness. Whipping that cardboard. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Oh, just dropped into a hole there. Can we recover? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 more power, more power. <laughs> I'm guessing I know what this is. I'm guessing that you guys are going to like it. Oh, guys. Note in the comments, do you know what it is? That is how many LiPos are going to go into the Project 203 mile an hour RC car. All right, let's have a little quick sneaky little peek. There's going to be a proper video about this coming up soon. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, 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 oh. oh. All right, all right, all right, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Guys. Check it out, look at the size of these battery cables. And that battery connector, 130C. Guys, I'm hoping these are gonna have some power. This is a 4S LiPo. We're putting six of them in there. Guys, that car is gonna go. Well, it's gonna go somewhere. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it'll be rude not to give Brave Digo a quick blast. Oh no, poor Truggy. Straight over. What about the 50 degree hill climb? Oh, can you make it? Oh, 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 yes! Oh, 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 dear. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. I'll tell you what, guys, last time we took it out, that broke, and I kind of just pushed it back in and it fell off again. Ha, <laughs> dude. Ah, shocks off again. Who needs shocks anyway? Oh, look at that, straight over. Oh, tumble one at the end. <laughs> Let's put it away before we completely kill it. Oh dear, this is supposed to be an unboxing video. Oh look, we have snow.
Have a look at my weasel, everybody. Say hello to YouTube weasel. Hello. This little pussy cat, you can fluff it everywhere. Loves it. Flat out and free, yes. Backflip. <laughs> oh no. Jump. <laughs> oh yes, uh oh. Oh dear. Where's that clip gone? Oh, it was all the way under there, look. <laughs> yes. So this magnetic body, it is cool, but if you're gonna start downing around, it's probably gonna pop off. Can we get over this monstrosity? We're gonna try it slow, then we're gonna try it with more power. Come on. Come on, supple tires, you can do it. Okay, a little bit more power. Maybe across this route here is the best way to go. Oh, 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 we're falling in the hole. Back it out a little bit, readjust. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, more power, more power. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no, 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 son of a digger body. Oh, donut. <laughs> Not quite. So guys, in a future video, we're going to take this out on a proper little rock crawl somewhere to see how good it really does. I think it's going to do pretty good, especially somewhere like Paddlesworth. And guys, for the price, I can't really fault it. I think we're really going to have a lot of fun with this. If you want to know where you can get one, there's going to be a link down below. Also, don't forget, we've got all the parts ordered to finish this monster truck. And then once we've done that, we're going to put a supercharger into here. So subscribe and smash the bell! So you don't miss it. That poor bell, I've definitely seen better days.